Nebraska this morning. Today is Monday, the day before opener. This is where we're going to kick off our 2020 deer season. I've got about three days here in Nebraska to hunt, and then I'm headed up to North Dakota to meet up with some buddies up there. I've uh, scouted this quite a bit on Onyx and dropped some pins on some spots I think are promising. And so uh, I drove out last night, and this is one of my primary spots I have marked just because it's a nice little bottom here with some pines and cedars and willows with some cattails it looks like down there. To me it looks like it could be some good uh, bedding. And uh, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just sitting up here for, for a little while here and see if I can spot any deer coming off these hills off the prairie and heading down into these bottoms or just maybe see some deer in the bottoms. It got, it got really cool last night. It's been in the 90s this week and had a cold front come through last night. It dropped to 39 degrees. So it's a little little brisk out here this morning, but it it, it sure looks beautiful. And the weather's supposed to be uh, nice this week. It's going to warm back up a little bit. But uh, like I said, we'll sit here for a little while this morning, glass this bottom, and then we'll ride around and check out some of the other areas, and then eventually get some boots on the ground out here and actually walk into these areas and make sure we we'll see some deer sign if we don't see deer. And then tomorrow morning, hopefully I've got it figured out where I want to start. And we can start at home, we've got three days. Hopefully we can get it all put together and, and come out here with a successful hunt. Not a whole lot of activity, saw a few, a few mule deer. And uh, I'm not, I'm not opposed to shooting a mule deer buck if I get an opportunity. It really doesn't matter to me whether it's a mule deer or a whitetail. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna head down to my truck and we'll go off and scout some other areas and then, then maybe I'll make me some breakfast here in a little bit. So early this morning I was up on those hills there farther to the right. Can't see because of these trees. So what I'm doing now is we've got water out here and I'm just gonna skirt the edge and get to some spots I marked on the map and then just check for bedding as I walk. I'm already finding deer tracks in the sand. That's what's nice about being out here. This, this ground is real soft and so I'm seeing lots of deer tracks. So that's a good sign. So basically, I've got a spot marked on the map that's off in that direction where I think it might funnel the deer just because of the lack of water. There's a couple of ponds here and, they, and it's kind of a land bridge right there. And I'm just walking the edge here looking for any bedding and, uh, and just, you know, doing your basic scouting. All right, so what we got here, it's a little low spot here. There's water that surrounds us and there's a little gap, land bridge over this way. Lots of beds up in here. Found at least four or five, a couple of them are new. We got these uh, willows right out in front of us. I'm gonna check for bedding. And uh, this will be an ideal setup to come up here in the morning and set up in that gap and catch deer coming off the hills. And they got a kind of funnel right through there or either swim across water to get to this bedding. Now it could be doe bedding, but it's deer bedding, that's a good sign. Now, this little waterway here is not that deep, so deer could come across this instead of that little gap. There goes a deer. Another one took off this way. That looked like a young deer. But two of them got up out of there. Heck, I wasn't but 10 yards from them. good just this spot itself but I gotta find some deer sign to confirm whether they're coming through here or not best sign so far has been down there where I jumped that deer those two deer and, and I found that trail um, I figured there'd be some crossings here but I don't see a great deal I see uh, what looks like some faint trails and maybe that's where the bucks are and he just 
he's not beating it down like 10 deer going through the other trail. It's just one deer coming over here every once in a while. It's like a trail right here along the, the edge here. Yeah, if I was to set up, I'd sit right there. Right here. I'm gonna drop a pin here. There's also another tree right there. It gives some good back cover. I'm gonna have to get around on the side here and see if it's straight. But out in front here, there's some willows. There's a grove of trees. And I, I guarantee you there's deer bedding in there. Probably some right now. And then there's this nice little flat here in front. I'm not even gonna go in there and bump deer. I got the wind in my favor. They're probably just holding tight. They may even be able to hear me talking. But I'm gonna just ease on that way. Circle around, see what I see over there. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see some deer, no doubt. All right, it's time to eat. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go. And we'll start off with some New England clam chowder. Hmm, that's good. Bologna sandwich, barbecue chips. Best mayonnaise in the world. Best drink in the world. That's just to hold me over to my New England clam chowder is ready. It's starting to warm up here. That's gonna be good stuff. Gonna do a little scouting this evening, a little observational sit. Figure I'd at least look the part. Got full camo on. If you guys can see the trees, treetops and trees in the distance, I'm gonna get on, let's see if I can point it out, top of one of these hills here and just glass over the over the rim there and look down in that valley and just see what deer come out of there. Cause this is this is one of the spots I'd picked on the map also. This is like my number three spot, but I've already scouted number one and two. I figure I'd at least see what's back in here. So we got about I think it was about an hour and a half before sunset. So I'm gonna slip in here. There's some deer tracks right there. You don't see that? Right there. Anyway, let's get on back in here and see if we can spot some deer. All right, so we got this, uh, this little creek bottom, creek drainage here in front of me. I don't even know if it has running water. It may just be rain runoff. Run off. But, uh, at any rate, there's trees, willows predominantly. Maybe a few cottonwoods mixed in. Yeah, I see a couple cottonwoods. And uh, a lot of uh, tall brush or, or small willows giving good bedding cover down in there too. There's also a patch of trees. I guess there are willows down here to my right. Just a little small patch and there could be a deer bed in there. But uh, I'm just gonna sit tight here and hopefully the deer don't get spooked at me sitting up on the hill. I am sticking out a little bit up here. I got a little bit of cover, not much, but this is about the best vantage point to kind of watch the whole valley here in front of me. And then, even if they do get spooked, and as long as I see them, then I've accomplished my mission. I won't be hunting here tomorrow, likely, but I may hunt here one other day and later in the week if the other ones don't pan out other spots.
they caught my wind. I made a big mental mistake. Well, I guess it's not a big one, but I made a mistake. Winds over my right shoulder here, blowing straight down, you know, parallel to the creek bottom. And across this little valley here, and I saw lots of tracks. I was like, man, they, they must be using this a lot. I haven't been sitting here 15, 20 minutes, and I look up and there's some deer. I thought I saw a bigger buck with them, but I could not find them again. I'm about half blind. I'm I was trying to use my glasses to focus the viewfinder in. I got some cheers with me. But anyway, I, I saw the other buck, or maybe it was the only buck, but I'd shoot him. He wasn't huge, but I'd definitely shoot him. And there was uh, two does with him. They were taking that little valley there, and it makes sense. It's the path of least resistance. Instead of going up over these hills, they just go through that gap. Tomorrow afternoon, you could probably, I could probably sit right there and catch those deer going right through that gap. It was cool to see some deer, though. It's getting pretty late. Got about 15 more minutes of camera light, I imagine. I'm not, I'm not disappointed at all seeing uh, at least what, eight or nine deer. So I'm happy about that. And we saw a bug. I'll, if I get a chance to that bug, I'd shoot him. So I'm gonna pack my stuff up real quietly here and slip back to the truck, start charging batteries and dumping footage and get ready for tomorrow morning opening day here in Nebraska. It's been a good day, fun day. Just wish I could have had the bow in hand, but tomorrow that changes. Opening morning here in Nebraska. I was late getting set up. It was uh, it was dark when I came out here, but. I couldn't find my safety harness for my hang-on stand. So I couldn't bring my, my hang-on stand out here this morning. And that's the tree I picked out. I was, you know, had in my mind that I was gonna use my hang-on stand yesterday. Well, I didn't think much about it. I grabbed the saddle this morning and brought it out here. And the tree just ain't gonna work for a saddle, so I had to pick a different tree. And it took me a lot longer to get set up because I had to, just the way I had to maneuver around it, the trees, you know, it was just all mangled up. But I got settled in, had a little bit of rain, clothes got a little wet, but it's supposed to get up into the 80s of the day. It's already warming up quite a bit. Got a little bit of a breeze, it's kind of going like this. It's supposed to turn more out of the west. And uh, I'm worried about my scent going right along the edge here, but I anticipate the deer coming out in front of me and I'm hoping it comes from this way because there's a good trail over here. But at any rate, we're here, we're hunting. I'm gonna sit back and wait for a few hours. And hopefully we see some deer activity.
I'd, I'd all, all but written this hunt off this morning. I'd made so much noise this morning. I was frustrated because uh, of my own doing. I forgot my safety harness and, and I was trying to make it work in this little tree right here. And I'm 10 feet off the ground maybe. And uh, you know, I don't know. I was just gonna sit tight and sit and hunt until you know nine or ten o'clock, and then get down and go nap, and then go hunt this afternoon. Mm. Well, I heard something. I looked behind me. I was trying to get situated. My my legs were hurting the way I had it the stand situated, and, and this is my first time using a saddle to hunt out of. I've used it in the yard to kind of play around with on a straight tree, but this was new to me—a a crooked tree. So I was busy trying to get situated and I looked over my shoulder and here comes a small buck and I was like oh I better get footage of him and I took the camera off the, the camera arm and I was like you know what I bet it's a bachelor group and there's gonna be bigger or other bucks with this deer I said knowing my luck that's what will happen and sure enough here come a deer out and I think he might have been bigger than one I didn't shoot the other one first day here in Nebraska and I got a nice buck down you pick up help on the way? Yeah. He was in here hunting and he said he wanted to come look at your deer. I guess I, I wore the perfect shirt today. Yeah, you did wear the perfect shirt. Last last day, I'm going to wear my lucky uh, hunting public shirt. Well, it worked out, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. <sighs> He's not too shabby. Nice. How's it going? I'm Shane Good. Simpson. I saw you going over there. I thought I thought you were Gooch. I was whistling. I was like, wait a minute, he's got a bow in his hand. Where were you hunting at? Well, yeah, I started from camp and shuffled up the hill. And okay. All the way around. Yeah, I killed this one right here in these trees at, um, I don't know, right around sunrise. They came from that direction. There was two, three of them. It was a small buck first, and I, they were behind me, so I had to get the camera off the tree yard. And I was filming them, and I was like, Watch more bucks come. Watch it be a bachelor group, and I've got the camera off the tri off the camera arm. I mean, the tree arm. Sure enough, here comes two big ones behind it, and I'm like, uh oh. So I filmed them for a little bit, and then I said, what am I doing? I should be shooting one. So I hung the camera on a tree limb and got my bow, and this one stopped broadside about 25 yards. Okay. Hit a little, hit a little high, but went through the spine and into the chest cavity. Sweet. So it dropped him. I still went and put another shot into him, but. Is he pretty close? 25 yards. Nice. And the, the other one I think was bigger than this one. I'll have to go review the footage. He may have been, he may have been 10 pointer, but I doubt it. I think he was an eight, but just a bigger eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was, this was my number one spot, uh, cyber scouting. And just because of the way it pinches down, there's some water features here that I thought would force him to come through here. So I came here yesterday and scouted this. Found another spot for yesterday afternoon that I thought would be a good afternoon sit, but I wanted to get in here this morning. And I got situated in the tree. I, I should have took more time to analyze the tree because I had difficulty getting up in it and getting settled. It was well into light when I finally got settled. And about 10 minutes later, I looked over my shoulder. I heard something. There was a small buck and out steps two more uh, deer. And it was, this was one of them. And then there was one a little bit bigger than this. It's too quick of a hunt here in Nebraska. All the <laughs> cyber scouting I, that I did, I mean, weeks and weeks of cyber scouting. And one day of scouting and in the stand for 20 or 30 minutes. And, kill a, uh, a nice deer. That's awesome.